I don't know how many of you saw this. This is really weird to me. I don't even know how to describe this. So Project Veritas apparently ambushed AOC. And for those of you who are not aware of what Project Veritas is, this is a right-wing propaganda organization that literally produces fake news. They were busted producing fake news by the Washington Post, like trying to frame someone uh, or trying to frame, I believe, the Washington Post during the Roy Moore days. Like they hired an actress to come forward. And I'm not making this up. Like it seems like it's a conspiracy, but they were busted. I believe they hired an actress to go to the Washington Post to say that like Roy Moore assaulted them and they expected the Washington Post to run with the story and not properly vet the story. And um, Thankfully, in that instance, Washington Post did vet this story and then it exposed Project Veritas. But it doesn't matter because every single time they produce some bullshit video that's always suspiciously edited and taken out of context, it trends. So even if they have zero credibility, it works. Really, Mike from PA was with AOC uh, in that Project Veritas video. Wow. Um, so they say, got him. And I don't know what they're getting here because when you watch the video, sure, it's like an attempt at an ambush, but they don't they don't do anything. They don't get AOC to admit to anything incriminating. It's it's a nothing burger. But yet this is like supposedly really uh, devastating for AOC. I just I don't understand. So let's watch. I did. I drove one hour just to let you know that I am a journalist with Project Veritas. Oh. Gotti. Okay. First of all, journalist and Project Veritas do not belong in the same sentence ever. Uh, second of all, how is that a gotcha? When Fox News goes up to AOC, she knows that they're adversarial. Are they like, gotcha, it's Fox News here. Boo. I, I just, I, <laughs> I'm struggling to understand why this is a gotcha. Why is this bad for AOC? Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> okay, right. Do you even live in the Bronx? Because we also, we investigated that. When an elected representative Thank hides so behind her fame, Project Veritas, we expose everyone, sir. What are you exposing here, dipshit? What are you exposing, though? What did you expose? Do you even live in the Bronx? I mean, I don't know. She probably lives in D.C. now because she is an elected representative. What are you exposing? You're not exposing anyone. And the reason why her aides swooped in is because you are liars. Your organization literally lies. So you, you, she could say anything. And as innocent as it is, in actuality, you would take her out of context. So, like, for example, if she said, anyone who thinks we should kill babies is evil, you would just clip out that last part. We should kill babies. And then you'd like clip it up into a video saying, ooh, AOC wants to kill babies. You have zero credibility. You're, you're a joke. That's why her handlers swooped in. Like, it's not like they wouldn't give an interview to a conservative news outlet. I'm sure that they would. Uh, I don't think they'd have an issue with that. But the problem is that you're, you're bad faith actors. You're going to take her out of context. And it's funny how confident you are. Just like, hey, we're from... Project Veritas. Oh, you're so scared. No, you're stupid and we don't take you seriously. She doesn't take you seriously. No reasonable person takes you seriously. And it's not like you have to really like dig that deep and learn about how disingenuous Project Veritas is. You could just watch their videos and you see how manipulative they're being. Even back to like the days of uh, when they released the Planned Parenthood sting videos that went viral. I didn't even have to realize like I didn't have to see the full videos afterwards to know something about this is really off this seems very suspicious the cuts that they you know insert randomly it seems very very weird and so like they're a joke so i don't i don't get this but i mean this dude is really really proud of himself hopefully that you know project veritas pays you good dude because you are shilling for a company that is uh probably going to leave you high and dry when they run out of money uh, which they may never run out of money because, you know, it's probably funded by right-wing billionaires. But this isn't something that you want to put on your resume. If you're truly a journalist and then you apply at like some local news outlet and you have uh, Project Veritas on your resume or on your LinkedIn, you're going to be laughed out of the room. So it, this was weird to me.